So, the Bushman Thermal Tarp. This is my birthday present. Four months later, I'm finally back out in the forest to use it. Hooray! Uh, start off with the bag. Uh, it just fits the tarp itself. And one thing I did notice was from the views I've seen on the internet, few and far between that they are, um, they were complaining that the bag was poorly designed. Well, and this one has been reinforced with a little carry handle. So we'll see how it performs. But I'm expecting it to... Ooh, there's a nice shot. So, yeah, I'm expecting it to fall apart as well, but hopefully they've uh, improved the stitching and that little reinforcement strap that just looks like a carry handle to me uh, will do its job. Let's find out. Uh, this is the olive green version. It's very thin, actually. I was honestly expecting it to be much thicker, but I'm impressed. Uh, then there's a reflective underside. Again, the ripstop goes all the way through. Uh, this is a three... Three meter by three meter, 19 tie out points. So that would mean no heaven without okay. So nineteen tie out points would be four, five, one, two. In the centre, so you get five along the side, so you get four more, four more, four more, and then what have we got here? One, two, one, two. There's one in the centre, and then one halfway along. I think that's halfway. Yeah, so three tire points at the top we're in the center which is one meter 50 and then I guess that's 75 centimeters 150 yeah. to get some close-ups on this so you can have a better look uh, I'm impressed with the quality very impressed Late and promotion, even though I'm not. I bought this myself. Well, actually, it was bought for me as a present. So, yeah, this is a lovely ripstop, but there's a triple stitching, which is makes it nice and tough. Uh, the loops are done nicely, so they're reducing a lot of weight too. Uh, that's a nice little touch. So the strength goes along the actual seam rather than through the plastic, through the material itself, but. A little bit there, there's no pouch there for a pole, but, but even that's ripped up too. But. Yeah, so there's one and another second loop, and one in the centre, and one halfway down again, and then one in the corner. And as I said, there's uh, one about there, one in the centre at the top, where's my finger? One in the centre about the top, and then Again, and at the end. Uh, oh, something else. Um, whether there's relevance to it or not, I don't know. Let's turn you around. So 
So yeah, up to 50 UPF plus. I guess if it's really, really hot sunny day, you could just have the shiny bit on the outside and it'd be keeping a little bit cooler on the inside. So that's a nice touch. Plus obviously thermal for the winter. But there's, there's a, well, I was gibbering about earlier on. So that printed in there too. No heaven without hell. Yeah, so uh, the tarp comes with 10 metres of their own branded paracord. Ah. Which is this bizarre green and orange stuff. It's quite funky, it's quite thin. Uh, 220 paracord. So I've had to buy some tent pegs and obviously some guy rope tensioner things as well. So I have to add those. Uh, but yeah, so that's 10 metres long, so you can make a long guy line out of it. But I'm going, planning on cutting it down into four sections. So I've got four bits of two and a half metres for uh, each corner or whatever. A bit more practical. I always carry paracord with me. But... So it's going to get down to minus five degrees at the coldest point tonight, which is between 3 and 5 a.m. So hopefully... We put this little fellow through its paces and see if it's an improvement on a just a standard silicon nylon top. But what a day for it! What a day! It's minus two degrees in the morning. That makes no difference what time of day it is, but yeah, it's minus two degrees Celsius. And the condensation in the tarp has frozen. I'm not quite sure if this is picking it up. But yeah, there's a nice sparkly layer of ice. So, how did the tarp do on its first outing? Uh, it stayed up, but that's nothing to do with the tarp. Uh, I, th I think the thermal tarp is actually a little warmer on the inside. Uh, it does reflect radiant heat. I know I've got that set up way too big. This would be perfect size for a, for a two-man shelter, actually. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it was definitely warmer than a regular tarp. Um, only by a little bit, though, a tiny bit, maybe one or two degrees Celsius. Uh, as I said, it dropped down to minus five in the night. Um, I still had problems with condensation as a regular, with most tarps will do anyway, especially when you've got them mostly enclosed. Um, they don't breathe. Uh, and the condensation did turn into a nice thin layer of crispy ice. Uh, again, that's not unusual either. Uh, but I was hoping that the, the reflective part would have done its job and kept that defrosted so is it worth the money uh, no nah, it doesn't come with tent pegs but the tent pegs you normally find with these things you throw away and buy new ones anyway uh, so the 10 meters guy rope I think it's it's the similar or equivalent to a um, uh, a three millimeter or four millimeter paracord, um, but it's strong enough to do the job, even as a guy line. I think I think it's pre stretched as well, but I'd have to check. But, uh, but yeah, for a thermal tarp that keeps it a little bit more warm than a regular tarp, then yeah, I mean, I like it. Uh, they're available in two colors there's this green one, and then there's a DPM. Dutch style camouflage uh, I, uh, but I wasn't really too keen on that one that's personal preference um, I do believe it also comes in a fluorescent orange too um, that's kind of their trademark colour I think is the fluoro orange so I wouldn't be surprised again I'll have to double check but uh but yeah I'm glad I've got it um, with the different setups maybe you get more benefit if it was closer to the fire and you had a lean to or an A-frame they're probably lean to shelter you would definitely notice the difference uh but when the fire goes out you're back to square one aren't you so but yeah pros it is lightweight uh cons 
I still have yet to get it back in the bag. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, it's definitely worth looking at your shopping list of buying a new tarp. They do come in different sizes too, smaller and larger. Yeah. So I hope this helped. My gibbering as usual. But yeah, thanks for watching. Well, it went back in, just a bit of a squeeze, and some random little carry handle on the bottom too, as I mentioned. Yeah, so it packs away. Bag's just big enough. Pro or con, your choice.